These are family heirlooms. They're passed down for generations. I like that history, and I like bringing them back to life. I understand that you have a broken pocket watch. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Sure. It, it uh, belonged to my great-grandfather and then was passed down to my grandfather. Um, he passed away in 1939. As far as I know, I've never seen the watch run or heard it run. My grandmother told me that when her children, my father and his brothers and sisters were little, that they used it as a teething ring, that when they were teething, my grandfather would pull the watch out and let them chew on it, put it in their mouth to kind of soothe the, the gums where the teeth were coming through. Yeah, it's almost like an evidence of seeing everyone grow. Right. <laughs> there are marks on the back that I was always told were from scratch marks and little dents from kids teething on it. And now you're a grandfather yourself. Now I am a grandfather and I like to pass it on. I have the pocket watch with me. Can you tell me what you see? Well, it's an Elgin. Elgin had a uh, factory in Elgin, Illinois for a hundred years, and they produced more watches in the United States than any other company. And we see some marks in the back. What, yeah, there what are those? Be? What could those be? There is one watchmaker mark in there where the watch was serviced at one time. Typically, watchmakers can put their mark in there. That way, they knew if they fixed it or not. What does it take to make the pocket watch work again? Well, we're going to take it out of the case, completely disassemble it, and then we'll wash through, run it through the watch cleaner and clean every part, and then we'll reassemble and oil with it as we reassemble. I like to bring them back to life, and I like to see the history go on. It's just fun to take a watch that don't work and put it back together and, so that it can be handed on and, it, and it's a working piece. Yeah. It's nice. Hi, Hi Fred. Stop by to uh, see how you made out with the watch and what you were able to tell me. Well, mostly it was just dirty. Okay. I mean, it hasn't been oiled for years, and the oil solidifies and turns to grease. We did some jewel work, too. There was a couple jewels that were a little iffy, so I replaced those. Other than that, it should be good for a while. So the big question is, does it run? Yes. Okay. It does. Great. And it even keeps time. Better. <laughs> Thank you. Keep going. I don't want to overwind it. All the way up. All the way? You can't overwind it. Okay. That's a wives' tale. That's pretty impressive just to see the second hand moving again. <laughs> Sound good? It's just nice to hear something my grandfather heard so many years ago and hasn't been ticking since. It's the only thing that belonged to him that was passed down to my father. So it's the only physical connection we had to him. It was just the only thing that I had for my grandfather. I have four grandchildren, including two grandsons. And I would like to be able to continue passing it on to them and to someday their children and just keep it in the family as a, uh, as a family heirloom from my grandfather. Mm -hmm.